When I posted my four-part XHTML and CSS tutorial on the forums, I was immediately asked one question. Why bother learning XHTML when there's HTML5? The question, of course, is a valid one, because HTML5 has been heavily advertised. But the simple fact is that no modern web browser, or even nightly build, completely supports the HTML5 standard. As with the original um, Sorry, as with the original HTML standard, it is fragmented and not completely supported across all browsers. So getting a page to work across as many browsers as possible is next to impossible. Having said that, learning XHTML and CSS is not a waste of time. I won't classify I won't classify this as a full tutorial. I'll classify this as a trick more than anything else. Um, but what I'm going to show you is how to combine our recently learned XHTML and CSS knowledge along with a new HTML5 tag. The tag I will be demonstrating will be the video tag, and we'll use it. Uh, we'll sorry, we'll use it and our look previously learned knowledge to format a reasonable looking HTML5 and CSS page. Now I'm still learning HTML5 standards myself so I'm not 100% sure if I'm doing right but the pa sorry doing this right but if the page displays correctly then I consider that half the battle which it does in Google Chrome. So enough of my rambling let's have a look at the page I've created and I'll show you um, what I mean. Um, first of all, we've got the simple file structure here. We've got my um, MP4 video here of the first HTML um, lesson I produced. Um, we've got the index and we've got style. So if you've gone through my previous tutorials, this will all be nice and familiar to you. So let's load this up in Google Chrome. And as you can see, we've got Teach Yourself HTML Lesson 1, written by Daniel Charles Foreman. Um, video description, we've got a description of the video, and we've got um, a legal copyright notice footer at the bottom. And of course, we've got the video here, complete with controls and volume. So if we click on that, you'll see the video playing there's not a lot of motion in it, but as you can see, the uh, the video is playing in the actual video. Ah, I'll try that again. <laughs> Sorry, the, as you can see, the actual video that I created um, is playing in the web browser, and we did it with the um, HTML5 uh, video tag. So uh, I'll show you how I actually created this page. Just minimize this, and we'll open up a couple of copies of Notepad and we'll open up the index.html and style sheet. So from my previous tutorials you'll understand how the style sheet stuff works and um, on the side here we've got, oh I've lifted in the wrong title there uh, uh, HTML5 demo video demo even just to update that quickly. <laughs> um, so anyway, we, we've got the same structure we had previously. Um, we've got rid of the um, XHTML um, announcement code. And to declare a HTML document or HTML5, this is all you need as far as I'm aware. If anyone um, thinks differently, please leave a comment and let me know. Um, then we've got the HTML tag, which we're familiar with. We've got the head, we've got the title, and we've got the link to the style sheet and we end the head there then we get onto the main body of the text and we've got our heading we've got um, the subheading which I set up as a author paragraph class um, and then we've got our video lit tag and this is the actual um, HTML tag and this is the only bit of HTML um, five you'll find in this whole code. So the rest of it is the XHTML code you've already learned how to perform. And um, by adding a HTML5 um, tag, we've basically made it a HTML5 document. So uh, we'll have a look at the whole thing. Um, so we've got video, then source, very much like image. Um, We've just put video, then source, then HTML 1.mpeg4, um, which is a file here. 
we've announced the file type so it's a, a video type in its MPEG4 if you want to use um, OG video then just set that as uh, OVG instead of MP4 we've set the width and the height so it's half of the 720p resolution and uh, this basically adds controls without that it will just be a video and you'd have to uh, um, right click in order to do anything so if you right click on the video you've got a number of controls here um, without that you basically have no controls and it'll just appear as an image and you'd have to play it like that etc but uh, so by announcing controls we make sure that the controls are showed as default and uh, that's pretty much it um, obviously we've got width and we've got height which I've already explained now we've also um, got a paragraph here listed before the end video tag and what this basically does is if your browser cannot view this content you can download the video and I provided a link to download the video so any browser that doesn't support um, the video tag will show this um, paragraph instead and provide the video so if we just load up Internet Explorer I'm using version 8 which doesn't support HTML5 at all and we'll just open that there and you'll notice there so if your browser does not view this content sorry if your browser cannot view this content you can download the video here so um, this is a way of basically um, allowing users who do not have HTML5 browsers to still have access and be able to download the video and play it offline if you desire and obviously the video description and everything else is there as well so um, uh, as long as you put that paragraph before the video tag um, it won't be shown uh, in the main um, HTML5 page, as you can see, there's no sign of that tag. The only um, sorry, there's no sign of that paragraph. The only point by which it will show is if the browser doesn't support that particular tag. And that's basically it. That is HTML5 implemented in um, an existing XHTML style document. Um, we've got heading 2, description, we've got the paragraph, and we've got the footer, which you understand. So we'll have a look at the CSS file now, see what's changed there. And as you can see, nothing much has changed. The um, style.css is a modified version of my previous style.css. Um, it uh, provides formatting for the main body. Um, I've set text align to justify which is different from my previous tutorials so that creates that nice um, even text on both sides. And uh, then we've got heading 1 which is up there. We've got heading 2 which is the one there. We've got p.author, which is that line there. And then we've got video, and all I've done is treated it as if it was an image. So I've set it up with a 5PT um, padding, and I've set the float to left. By setting it to the float to left, it basically allows this text to nestle by, by the side of it quite neatly. Sorry, quite neatly. So... Uh, and then the rest of it's exactly the same as, as before. The, the dev footer, I haven't changed that code at all. So by adding a simple um, video um, line there and by assigning it um, to the CSS style file, um, we've applied all the knowledge we learned in the previous four lessons and we've applied it to a HTML5 document. So continue learning um, XHTML and HTML standards in the meantime. The knowledge will be useful. You're not completely wasting your time. And uh, for those of you who wish to embed video into their web pages using HTML5 quickly and easily, then this is an ideal way of doing that. So I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial and I hope you'll be back for uh, more in the future.